We saw that IFC is a huge set of agreements about semantics of objects, their relations, and properties. IFC 2x3 has 653 standardized entities with semantic definitions, about 12,000 properties in total. The standardization effort of IFC is huge and seen as one of the largest in any industry. We've also seen the IFC schema is modular and has entities for specific domains. The purpose of IFC is to create an interface between different software tools. Not every tool has an internal data schema that holds all the specific entities in each domain. A software tool for structural analyses doesn't have any data about a humidifier, a permit, an occupant, or a duct fitting. And these are only a few examples. Implementation of import and export functions in the diverse software tools would be difficult to manage. How would you know what entities of IFC are supported by each software tool? To solve this problem, Building Smart created model view definitions. A model view definition is defining what parts of the IFC schema are implemented by a software tool. In principle, software developers could pick their own list of IFC entities they are supporting in their IFC import and export functions. That list is called the model view definition. It is important to realize that in fact every export function of IFC in every software tool is therefore created against a model view definition. Building Smart has also created a model view definition for version 2x3 that they call coordination view. The coordination view is a filtered version of the full IFC schema. The coordination view is created with project coordination in mind between multiple project partners. What needs to be in an IFC dataset to coordinate the design and engineering? You won't find IFC permit and IFC occupant in there. Although the coordination view holds about 80 to 90% of the full IFC schema. You can find an overview of what is in the coordination view version 2.0 in our knowledge base via the link below. The coordination view from Building Smart is also the subset of IFC that is used for official Building Smart IFC certification of software. Please note that certification is done on import and export of IFC according to a model view definition and not for the full IFC schema. Let's browse through the poster of the coordination view. Software vendors can also define their own subset or filter with the IFC agreements. They can create an MVD for the exchange of data necessary for energy simulations or for evacuation simulations. In that case, you would probably find the entity IFC occupant in there. Model view definition were created to support software developers but can also be used in different ways. Building owners sometimes use model view definitions to define a handover. They define what data they need from a building and put that in an MVD. The COBE standard is an example of a model view definition for facility management and operations. You can learn more about the relation between COBE and IFC in this video. For IFC 4, there will be two official model view definitions defined by Building Smart the reference view and the design transfer view. Software vendors can choose if they want their software certified for one of those or for both. But again, every software developer can define its own model view definition. There is a risk in this. With the growing extensions of IFC, the complete set of agreements is only growing bigger. In IFC 5, there will be infrastructure elements like bridges and railways. The current line of Building Smart is that IFC is defining the agreements, and there will be multiple model view definitions for specific domains. It is important to understand that MVDs are a filter over the IFC schema definition. Some users think you can use MVDs to define the requirements of your BIM data quality, but this is not the case. 
MVD does not have appropriate technology to define that all doors should be higher than 2 meter or that every object should be related to an IFC building story. It can only select the entities of the IFC definition. It is a filter on the schema level and not on the data level of the files that users actually exchange. For the sake of clarity, you cannot define your model check rules in an MVD. The concept of filtering IFC with model view definitions holds a risk that in the future, a model view definition for railways is not interoperable with the model view definition for evacuation simulation. Both are 100% IFC and both have the same file format, but in fact, there is minimal or no overlap. It makes sense that an exchange standard for railway and for evacuation simulation is different, but it could be confusing that they are both called IFC. As a user, you should keep in mind that you always talk about model view definitions when you talk about exchanging IFC data. The BIM execution plan generator therefore makes a distinction between the different building smart model view definitions when asking you about IFC. A normal IFC file doesn't exist.